Hello, I'm Jerry Ford. I'm going to review a spiced apple Grove Square cider drink mix. It's one of the Keurig cups, K cups. Um, natural flavor with other natural flavor. Um, I think I've had this kind of product before. I mean, from this company, Grove square sounds familiar but um it i just cut it open because i don't have a i don't have a keurig machine so um man has a nice a nice sweet apple aroma a little spiciness in there maybe a little uh a little ginger maybe maybe a little cinnamon <clears throat> I don't know what else that is. This doesn't tell the ingredients on these little cups. Got it from break room. <clears throat> okay. Let's uh let's check it out. There's not that much in here. So I'm not going to put that much water in there. To start off with anyway. It's not dissolving very quickly. Let's put about that much. It's still not dissolving very quickly. You see it swirling around in there. I don't know, maybe it's not supposed to dissolve. Mm, boy, it smells really, really good. It has a nice cinnamon uh, aroma. Um, I believe it's ginger too. It has a kind of a ginger aroma. Maybe some kind of clove or um, that strong for it not being very much in the pod. That's that's pretty strong. Let's go that much. Tasted good. But... <clears throat> okay. Has a nice apple cider look to it. Still got a lot of little floaters in there. really good that is really good yeah there, there's a there's a cinnamon and um, 
there is pretty thin I think it's I think there's a ginger in there it has a nice apple taste um, kind of a little bit tart not not a whole lot mostly sweet um, wow that's really good that is really good nice winter you know winter drink very good um, you know kind of I mean I mean it has a cider effect of course um, it's been a long time since I've had like actual um, cider apple cider from like a little you know side store I lived in Colorado, <clears throat> traveling up into the, the mountains and stuff. <clears throat> there was lots of little stores that said cider, you know. Even back in the 80s, <clears throat> cider was expensive. Oh, wow. Man, that's good. Lots of different spices in there, um, other than, um, than cinnamon and you know ginger and I just can't think of all that I would be tasting in there um, what's the other one that's like cinnamon it's close to it I can't think of it why can't I think of it Anyway, well, they captured all this and put it into a powder. Grove Square Cider Drink Mix. Spiced Apple. They did a good job. They did a good job. So if you like cider mixes, check out this one for your, for your Keurig machine. You don't have a Keurig machine? Don't let that stop you. This worked just fine. My coffee maker, getting the water hot, you can boil it or whatever on, with a tea kettle on your stove. Pour it in. Cut the back of this open carefully. Pour it in. Stir it up. Just fine that way. I like that I got all the all the little floater things out of there. All the different spices. I don't know if on a K-cup machine, if, you know, the holes are, are kind of, <clears throat> I think um, that it punctures the top and I think it punctures the bottom because it comes out the bottom, right? So with the, with the, the inlet of the puncture being like this, it may not let all the little spices come out that hole they might collect at the bottom of the edge on the inside around the outer part you might just get it might filter it kind of out so um, when it comes to something like this I kind of prefer to get everything out of it um, so it's all kind of collected in the bottom right now See if I can let you see it. Yeah. You can kind of see it. Okay. Well, I'm going to end it there. Let me know if you've tried the Grove Square Cider Drink Mix and what you thought of it. And uh, thank you for watching. I appreciate it. See you on the next one. Bye.